Welcome back and happy Wednesday. We have a look right now at your current temperatures. If you're just getting your morning started with us here on daybreak, or if you're getting ready to head out the door. So staying close to the 50s at this hour, but actually temperatures could start to decrease slightly over parts of our inland valleys. You can see for Paso Robles by the seven o'clock hour, we could be closer to the upper 40s, but right around the low 50s for areas like Solving in San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo. So for some, that could be kind of a chilly morning going back to the 40s. But as far as warming goes by noon, some of those inland valleys back in the 80s, and you can see as we get closer to the coast, closer to those 60s and 70s across your coastal valleys. So for your satellite radar, it's pretty similar to what we had yesterday in terms of cloud cover, mid to high level clouds increasing over our coastal waters, and then we have some low level fog over the coastal valleys and beaches throughout your morning commute. But we still have an air quality alert in effect for San Luis Obispo County. And as far as these levels go, just breaking down the details with this, for Slow County, it's ranging from unhealthy for sensitive groups to unhealthy. When we get to that unhealthy level, that means that everyone is impacted. So you can see it definitely is impacting all of Slow County's residents for today. This is going to expire on Thursday, but for Santa Barbara County, which is not under any sort of alert, but still has unhealthy air quality, we're ranging from moderate levels to unhealthy levels for sensitive groups. So just keep that in mind today. And here's a look at the smoke forecast. Things are actually starting to clear up for us, which is really good news, obviously. And that's going to continue as we head into Thursday, and we're hoping to have more clearing by Friday too. Talking about this low pressure here that's over the Pacific Northwest, it will have impacts locally. What we're going to see tomorrow for the Central Coast will include increasing cloud cover. And let's take a look at the microclimate model, just kind of detailing what we are anticipating. Increasing cloud cover later tonight, we'll have that marine layer early Thursday, but take a look at this, increasing clouds through the afternoon at a mid to high level across most of San Luis Obispo County and then going into Santa Barbara County as well. When we see the increasing clouds, this also will bring the chance for misty conditions. So some very, very light precipitation. You might need to use those windshield wipers tomorrow morning and maybe even through the afternoon. For the wind forecast here, liking what I'm seeing in terms of calm conditions, but this is kind of helping us just keep these foggy skies and smoky skies in place, unfortunately. But southwesterly flow is going to increase on Thursday, and that's what should kind of help clear out some of the smoke across our region. Again, good news for us there. Taking a look at your daytime highs, we're going to be warming up slightly because we still have some influence from high pressure. Mid 90s for Paso, low 80s for San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara. Still have that mix of 80s and 90s across your Santianez Valley. We could reach the low 70s for Vandenberg actually and back towards the coast for Pismo Beach, 72 in the forecast there. Mid 60s for Los Osos and daytime highs along the North Coast from the low to mid 60s. And you can see triple digits. That's a possibility once again for San Miguel. I'll send it back to you.